Now that we've installed our hardware into our knitting machine and our software into our computer, it's time to get on with the actual knitting. First I'll mention a little bit about how you make the images. They're tiny little files, one, uh, one pixel per stitch, which is, uh, this one is 75 pixels wide. I'm zoomed up, zoomed big here so we can see it. This is just, you can make them in any paint program. I won't go into the details here. Uh, and just for example, if I wanted to add eyeballs to my Makey design, I can just add in some pixels in here. Um, but I think we'll probably, I probably won't save this particular change. Let's uh, go back to the original version. And so now I'm in the, uh, in our actual knitting software. I'm going to open up uh, our Makey image and zoom it a bit bigger so we can see over here on the right are some settings and the buttons for getting started with the knitting. I started by knitting about 20 rows of plain white, which is going to be the hem below Makey's feet. We engage the patterning mechanism on the carriage by turning this knob. And it, as it gets started, one of the things it does is sets its zero position so it can know where it is. Uh, it does that using this magnet that's in the center back of the carriage and a hole sensor on the bed. That's how it gets its zero position. And then we can just start. There's a short delay just on this very first row while it feeds the uh, first row of information to the Arduino. Then we can just knit all the way across. What it has done is uh, knit one more row in the white and pre-selected the needles for the next row, which is go going to be uh, Makey's feet. Uh, one last part of the setup is to feed in our red yarn along with the white and to press a button on the carriage to tell it what kind of patterning to do. Just going to move across, just holding on the end so it doesn't get tangled. One other thing to note about how this works is when we're in patterning mode, uh, the carriage is connected to this metal belt which moves with it. That's how it connects mechanically to the uh, selection mechanism which is in the bed. We have our two yarns feeding in parallel. The white will be picked up by these uh, needles that are further back, and the red will be picked up by the ones in the front. So you can see we've selected there for the second row of Makey's feet. And if you watch this horizontal bar in the image in our software, uh, it will step up, step up a row each time the carriage turns around. And from here on out, uh, all we have to do is move the carriage back and forth like this. Well, that's usually true of this particular technique of two-color ferrile, but our, our Makey image has a couple of complications that may slow us down just a little bit. The first is these gaps at the edges if your image has vertical edges. And the solution to that is to carry an extra white thread up the sides of the, of the image. That gives the red thread an extra place to turn around rather than doing a sharp turn on itself. Uh, you may have noticed that um, I, I changed our image to be a uh, checkerboard fill. That's because if you do large blocks of a single color, then you get these strands on the back called floats, where the other color gets carried across. By changing to the checkerboard fill, I've gotten rid of most of them, but there are still a few places where there's a horizontal bar of one color in the image. So what you do on the next row, you grab the loop that's the strand that got left across the, like that and hook it up onto the next row, onto the selected needles of the next row. We're looking at the back of the work, the pearl side, while it's on the machine. What it's going to look like on the other side when we later when we can get to turn it over uh, is what we've done so far is, is basically this part or about here and our. So we're just going to continue knitting till we get to the top of the image. Machine knitting is fast but not this fast.
now we've finished our pattern and everything is selected to the back which will be white only we don't need any more red you can see the horizontal line is above Mickey's head on the software um, we're going to knit a few more rows of white before let's just take a look at what we did and now we're going to disengage the patterning mechanism and we can cut our red yarn and unthread it from the carriage so we're going to knit about 20 more rows in plain white and then drop it off the machine by unthreading the white and taking the carriage across with no yarn and it just drop off. There are ways of doing neat finishes, for neat cast off edges, but for our purposes, we're going to, as we're going to be cutting the knitting anyway, we're just going to leave it raw like this. So now we've finished our front piece. Uh, I see a few places on the back where I forgot to hook up the loose edges. I can maybe sew those down later, or if I line my puppet, I may not even need to. And these outside vertical edges are nice and neat. Now I'm going to do exactly the same over again for the back. You can see I edited the image to get rid of the eyes and the logo. And now we have our front and our back, and in the next video I'll show how to uh, sew them together and cut out the shape to make our puppet.